Hey guys, uh, I'm Don, and I'm gonna log you back to my channel, Skeptical Street Style. Now, if you've seen uh, my other videos, uh, you'll see it, that me and my friends, we would like to fly uh, freestyle. We've done this for a few years now. I tried some drone racing, but uh, not really my thing. I think the competitive part is not my, my, my thing. Now, one of our pilots came over me and asked me if I want to go long range with him. So, I did my research, uh, looked for the components I could use, and I got this bad boy. This is a TBS Source 1 V2, and as you can see, I already mounted everything on it, so I got the perfect fit on it, uh, know what 3D printed I needed to uh, finish it. So, I will uh, dismount everything again, and I'll show you part by part what I used and why. So, Stay tuned, and I'll show you all the rest. Well, I took off all the parts, uh, a few are still on it, but uh, I can show you uh, why I chose this frame. The frame itself, it's, uh, it's big enough, so when my normal frames are center built, now I got uh, the front and back the, uh, on it, so I can have more room to put more components. So you can see in the center, I, can I got my screws ready to put on my uh, flight controller. In the back, I designed a little mount, a little tower for uh, my rest component, which is one of uh, the, the VDX and my lost, lost alarm. And in the front you got your camera, so room, enough room to build everything. I changed it from a 5 inch to a 7 inch, and if you can see, I will make a little bit closer, you can see it are pretty thick arms. So keep in mind if you uh, want to order spares, you got the same thickness. This gives me the problem with my motors. Uh, I got the motors with the bolt for the, the for the prop, and I got the four screws to mount my motors onto the arms. Now, for the thickness, I got the problem that my screws wouldn't be long enough. So I, had, luckily, I got spares in in the in my closet. So I chose other screws, a little bit longer, so it's a, they can fit. The motors I'm gonna put on are the Imogods um, uh, 1777. Um, they look pretty nice, just at the the, the shape of it. And luckily, uh, TBS sent me some, but to the customs here in Belgium, I had to wait a few months on it. So, luckily, I got uh, finally got them. So, ready to mount. As you can see, I always fix them like this that they look good. So I only have to wait for some protectors to put on it. The flight controller I'm gonna put on it is the T Motor 722 with the 55 amps 4 in 1 ESC. So as some would say, I only build drones with low uh, low budget gear, so here it is. Next I got on the back, I got uh, my custom made mount for my, my antenna. I got uh, a little mount for my, my PTX antenna. And I got a little shelf to put my VTX on. That will be a Matek GPS. The Sam 8Q. So I think I almost have it. Within the stack I got my lost alarm. I have to change a little bit. I used the uh, Matek system protection caps 
I always keep keep them with me. They're nice to, to mount stuff onto it, a 30-30 mount. And on top of my VT on my top of my flight controller I'll be mounting my custom made mount for uh, the R9. I also have them to get uh, the R9 and the DBS Nano next to each other, but uh, this one's center. The VTX all that I'll be using is the DBS Evolution that I ordered a time ago but never used. So this is my first and for long range I can use it perfectly. So let's get it mounted and uh, see how it looks when it's ready. my uh, 4 and one ESC and the motors onto the frame. Now we're off to the solder station to connect them all. So uh, I finally managed to attach all the motors onto the, the ESC, just the way I want it to be. Uh, it took me a little longer as suspected for uh, my wire protectors. I had to redesign them. They were too fragile, but uh, they worked out pretty good. As you can see, like this. Now the next part will be uh, mounting our uh, T-Motors F722 and uh, attach all my other components onto the flight controller. This will take a little time but uh, I'll try to get it as nice as possible. What's nice on this flight controller or this entire stack is they, man they gave me a lot of materials to work with like uh, you have uh, for your wires if they're too so short or just by uh, protecting them for, uh, from prop, uh, prop strikes they uh, added some wire plates they have spacers uh, they had the longer screws to put through the frame into the flight controller so on that case a pretty nice stack so back to the tables and uh, let's wire everything on it so far so good uh, i mounted everything on the on the drone so i got my uh, flight controller set up i got my receivers uh, connected uh, my vtx works eventually uh, my lost and found alarm is on it uh, the camera is working everything has been tested everything has been set up uh, now let's uh, Put on the props. Those are my DIS 7.5. I believe I had to turn them down because it didn't fit the fit the frame. But uh, we're gonna mount everything on it, close it up, and let's give it a try. My only problem I have so far is uh, I got the DVS Evo that couldn't get any uh, power from. The flight control, so I have to check this, uh, that out. Uh, for the rest, minor problems, but uh, it works. Now, let's give it a try and uh, let's see what it gives. Now, if you like this video uh, and you want to see more of this, just tell them in the, the comments below. If you have any advice on me, what I can change on this, uh, make it uh, better looking, uh, even working better, uh, also put a link in the uh, just put it in the description down below. Um, all the 3D parts I had made for uh, this uh, this drone, uh, I'll try to get the links down uh, so you can find them back and uh, hope we can get some nice videos on it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, uh, do subscribe. Hit the bell if you like if you want to see more of my videos uh, and don't forget like this video so on to the next and see you next time guys